Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're talking about uh, inequalities. We're moving from equations to inequalities, and we're taking a look at some, uh, some inequalities, and we're trying to find out what actually qualifies or makes a statement true, or in some cases, not true. But in this case, we're talking about things that are making them uh, true. So let's take a look here for a second here. So uh, the first one here, here's an equation. This is not an, an inequality because we have an equal sign. And I'm looking for a value that makes the statement true. Now, they gave me a little bit of a bank here of numbers. So I'm going to take a look and find out which one qualifies. So if I start with 0 and I say, OK, and I replace h with 0, and 0 minus h does not equal 5, so I'm not going to bother with that one. So I need a value that actually works. So let's see. 9, if I use 9, 9 minus 8 gives me, gives me 1 and not 5. 13, 13 minus 8, does that give me 5? And yeah, that's actually working out pretty well. So in my solution set here, I'm going to put my 13. That's the only value that'll work. Now that I have that, I'm going to start talking about these inequalities. Now, this particular symbol means less than. So I need everything on this side to be less than everything on this side of my symbol. And we need to figure out how many of these guys actually uh, qualify. So I know 13 is my go-to number. So my 13 minus 8 gives me 5, but I want everything to be less than on this side. So it looks like I need everything to be less than 13. So my 9, 9 minus 8 is going to give me 1, so that qualifies. My 5 is going to qualify. That will give me a negative value, but my negative value is still less than 5. So my 9, my 5, my 4, or maybe I should write them all in other order there, just greater than, at least the greatest perhaps. So 0, 3, 4, 5, and my 9. Again, I will not include the 13 uh, because the 13 is going to equal 5, and I want everything to be less than 5, okay, judging from that particular symbol there, okay? And next, oh, now we have a nice little multiplication. It's an awful symbol. Multiplication problem here, so, or multiplication uh, in this case, e equation. So I need some number. When I multiply it by 4, it's going to give me 36. Now, I know that number is 9. Is it in my bank? It is. And that's the only number that qualifies because there's no other number in that bank there uh, other than 9 that will make that equation true. So now I'm going to talk about an inequality. Now, this inequality is kind of neat because this means greater than, but it also means equal to. It has this little, little uh, line here underneath, which means equal. So it's sort of uh, two symbols in one. It's kind of like a equal symbol and a greater than symbol at the same time. So those guys sort of morph into something that looks like that. So we need to include that 9 in our solution set now because the 9 times 4 does indeed equal 36. But there are other numbers now that will qualify because I'm looking for this side to be greater than 36 at the same time. Okay, so uh, logic would dictate then I need the values that are greater than 9. So uh, like 13, because 13 times 4 is going to give me a value greater than 36. So the 13, the 18, and the 24 all qualify. Because if I substitute any of those values for g, my answer will either be greater than 36 or equal to 36. And that's kind of how it works. Okay? Um, yeah, all right. Let's, uh, let's one, run one more here. We've got this fraction deal here. Taking a quarter of y will equal 7. Now, if I was going to take a quarter of y to equal 7, that y, now I can run, I can run some uh, probability stuff here, which is kind of cool. A quarter of y equals 7 to try to find that y value. Maybe that makes your life a little bit easier. So this is 1 quarter times y is going to give me 7. So in order for that y to be isolated, I need to divide this entire deal by a quarter, which means I'm going to divide this guy by a quarter as well. So my y value is going to stand alone. And this guy here, if I'm going to take 7 and split it into quarters, I'm going to wind up with 28. So my y equals 28. Well, nothing qualifies here because my greatest value in this set is 24. So uh, the answer to 5 is, uh, is none. There is nothing in that set that'll actually qualify. Okay, so that's the deal, folks. This is your bank. You have to use it. If that bank wasn't there and they just wanted some values, then you could write some different answers and maybe a sentence statement.
talking about what qualifies and what doesn't. All right? Okay, folks, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.